Hi again, everyone, and welcome to Badger Breakdown. I'm Mike Lucas from UWBadgers.com. I'm joined by the voice of the Badgers, Matt LePay. I'll give you 25 words or less to explain the BCS formula <laughs> and how Wisconsin factors into it, okay? One, two, three, go. Win every game remaining, have Michigan State lose one more time, and it's at least Pasadena. So many people have come up to me, and that's not bad, so many people have come up to me and said, well, what do the Badgers have to do? Explain yeah. it to me. Explain the computers to me. You explain the computers well, to anybody. Yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm willing to listen to anybody with any kind of knowledge of how the computer system works. The one thing the one thing that we do know, at least I think we know, is that the computers do not take into account margin of victory. Um, but I think humans do. You tell me that one. I, I think if you know, somebody isn't really watching a game but notices the score, a team could move up or down in the, in the polls accordingly. So that that's the one thing about computers I can tell you the rest of it. Not, not a whole lot. Which all runs counter to good sportsmanship. But we've been told <laughs> yeah. that coaches should practice good sportsmanship. Now, if you get a chance to add some style points, you're yeah. going to be tempted to do so. Yeah, and I, I think, you know, if you would listen to Brett Bielema or any coach in his situation, it's about winning the game first because, you know, a team like Indiana can score, a team like Michigan can obviously score a little bit, and Northwestern can as well. So you're trying to, A, win the game. but. Yeah, and Barry's talked about it. Barry Alvarez, if you're up, uh, if it's a two-score game and you're in a position to make it a three-score game, that's something that you have to consider. True confessions. We're talking before the Purdue game. We're talking about style points. Yeah. Badgers trailed at halftime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not a, lot, not a lot of style points <laughs> no. at that juncture. But in the second half, to their credit, the defense did something that it hadn't done a whole lot of this season. That was create turnovers. Comer St. Jean with the interception early in the third quarter. And then the interception for a touchdown late by Antonio Finellis. That was nice. Made it a three-score game. So that was, but it was good to see the defense be able to come through like that. Uh, when it, it took a little bit of time maybe to adjust after a bye week, playing a different type of offense. And, and once again, Monty Ball delivers at, at running Terrific storyline. It really is. been a great story in perseverance. And what a difference in the types of offenses the Badgers will see from one, one week to the next. A freshman quarterback, a true freshman quarterback in Sean Robinson at Purdue, and now a wily fifth-year senior in Ben Chappell. Really good quarterback. Ben Chappell, I think uh, we would say quietly, has put together a very good career. We say quietly because Indiana has not been in the upper echelon of the Big Ten. But one other thing that Chappell has, and we've been saying this quite a bit this season, much like Scott Tolzien, Chappell has receivers that he's very familiar with. The difference is these receivers have good size. You're talking about the Marlon Belcher, Tannen Doss, Terrence Turner, a tight end who's 6'6". He has big targets, really good targets. The wide receivers, uh, those the three wide receivers I mentioned are, are among the best three in the conference. So it'll be another good test for this Wisconsin defense. Yeah, Wisconsin football to me still means many of the same things, and that is limit the number of possessions the other guys get. Yeah, grind it. Grind it if you can. And then, you know, the question of the day is, you know, who, who among the running backs is healthy enough to go? You know, Monty Ball's in good shape. James White seems to be rounding into form. John Clay was dinged up against Purdue last week. But, you know, it's the old line. You can never have enough tailbacks. They're, they're at least, they at least have won, it seems, every week. In the last couple of games, it's been Monty Ball. If they could get James White back into the fold, that obviously is a big help in terms of ball control and get the short passing game off of the running game. And, He'd been Chapel and those guys on offense on the sidelines. I believe they're getting the last fan off the field from the Ohio State celebration. <laughs> it's been a while since we've been here. Seems like a long time. We talked to John Moffat earlier in the week, you know, and it, it's been a month. And to him, I think, and to a lot of people, it seems like it's been a whole lot longer. That night was magical. And I know the head football coach here is trying to do everything he can to make sure that the stadium has as close to that feel again for Indiana as it has for Ohio State. Stakes are getting kind of high here, so uh, so hopefully people will get here uh, by kickoff and let's <laughs> see what happens. For Matt LePay, I'm Mike Lucas. Thanks for watching uwbadgers.com.